I'm trying to understand <laughs> why they're called China bumps. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Shante. Thank you for joining me. Today I wanted to talk about feeding braids and boxer braids. The difference between them and I will be demonstrating how both of them are done. Um, I want to leave you with a question before I get started. <laughs> I want to know if you've ever seen Chinese people rocking China bumps. This question has been on my mind for the last month um, and I've just really been thinking I've never seen them. So why are they called China bumps? Like I really want to know if, <laughs> if this is just me thinking this. Um, yesterday I took the time to part my hair in small Chinese bumps. As you can see they're flat now because I slept really well yesterday and I wanted to get the parting um, part out of the way because that takes up most of the time when doing braids. I also want to know what holding gel you use when doing your braids, if you straighten your hair prior to doing so and how long do you typically keep your braids in. The reason why I want to know about how long you keep it in for is because I'm trying to reprogram myself to know that frizz doesn't mean messy. Typically I will keep my hair in for about two weeks. I don't know if it's the growth that's annoying me or I just have some embedded um, things about frizz that I'm reprogramming. So i really like to know that and um, yeah, I'm really excited to do the feeding braids. Um, Previously I wasn't too keen on them because I had first done braids in my hair like over a decade and some years ago. It took me all day to do it, I didn't get to sleep till 5am and then in the afternoon I went out to rally close and a buddy had cut my extensions off. So I was so distraught, I told myself I'm never going to do the braids again in life. But then. Recently I was thinking, no, you like this hairstyle, you love to do hair, you like to learn, don't ever let the bully bully you out of things that you like to do and love. So we're going to execute that hairstyle. I've been stopping people in the road, yes I stop people in the road and in the stores, asking them also what um, things that they use in their hair. So I saw a lady, um, she told me she used something called gummy, so like, okay. And then I asked another lady, she said, oh, I use this gel, it was on the counter. So I was like, okay, she told me green or, or blue. So I looked at it and it was in fact gummy again. So I thought, okay, that's two people telling me gummy. So I picked up <laughs> both of them because trial and error, we find out which one works. She said, just not the red one. So we're going to be using those today. Today we are going to be drinking tomato juice, this is good for your skin and everything like that, for your insides and it does help with your hair also because what you eat and drink does come out through the roots and I'm also going to be using Cali Mermaid Collection. So there are two kinds, we've got a quick braid Cali, right, and we have a Cali Mermaid. I'm not too sure about the difference, it might be the texture, but we're going to find out later anyway. I'm just really excited, so I uh, will be back later with the demonstration of the feeding and the boxer after I do my own hair, so I will see you guys later.
I have just a few braids left to do and I remember saying I was going to demonstrate the difference between beading braids and boxer braids so I'm going to start with doing the boxer braid. I am today using um, Expressions pre-stretched for boxer braids. Usually I would use um, the jumbo braiding but the jumbo braiding it needs detangling so I've got my black expressions pre-stretched hair now what you will do is you'll split it in two and then you'll tuck it under because you need to make it into three so I have three hairs right I'm gonna take it right let me get it correct because I'm right handed <laughs> So we're going to find the section here and you can split that into two, it really doesn't matter because it's all going in the same. So you just do like a plait. If you're learning how to plait then you can check out my last video and then you can get started on doing the extensions. So let me just do this. we have one box of braid. Now to me the difference is the definition. With the box of braid you don't have to worry about um, you, your the ends of your own hair showing and stuff like that. But for me I prefer the feeding braids because with the box of braids it's if you go like this it pulls your roots and scalp so it can be uh, a bit painful you won't be able to put up in a style um, as such with the feeding braids you can go all like this like that and you will feel no pain so um, also the boxer braids is where you will do bigger partings with the feedings what I have learned is you cannot do big feelings well I am not on that level yet so that's what I was saying so yes it falls back it actually kind of hurts but I do like the style nonetheless I'm gonna take it out and then demonstrate the feeding braids so with the feeding braids you will have to start off with um, grease and gel you will have already sectioned hair on the side you will take your hair and you will twist it once or twice then you will get your hair of choice and you have to tuck it under and latch it in under this is where you would apply a little bit of gel and grease so that your hair wraps into the other hair. You will take another piece of hair and you will go under and you will twist it round. You will add some gel and you will keep going. So then you just keep going down and down and down until it is complete but that is how you do feeling braids I'm not sure but if you can see the definition is definitely um, a lot different because at the root with the boxer braid you will have the kind of clunk <laughs> thing going on the knot but with this not so much and it's not pulling my roots, it's not hurting when I do this or move it around. Um, so that is why I do prefer the feeding braid. Yep, you can swing it around and there's no pain. so excited now is the time to seal the ends now to do that I have gotten myself a 
Pyrex jug. It is best to use um, water straight out of the kettle, a towel to dry the ends and gloves. I am not going to use gloves because I'm used to drinking hot water. So I think my fingertips are a bit um, immune, but definitely use gloves if, if, yes, not if, just use gloves. Yeah, highly recommend the gloves. So what you will want to do is you will take portions of the hair and you will dip it into the water and then you will take it out and then you will run your fingers through and then you will dip again and out and double dip triple dip 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 and at the same time when you're pulling them out just use the towel And that is how you seal your ends. So here we have one hairstyle. I'm so excited, like I'm just so I know how it looks. Um so I'm gonna tell you it took a total of 12 hours altogether to do this hairstyle. It took me an hour and a half to do the parting. I didn't use a mirror, I just used my phone. Um, I wanted them to be a specific size this time so that I had no choice but to do the hairstyle. So I'm glad that I did that. Um, yesterday I spent, um, I'd say around from 10 to half six and and i had like 10 left it reached half six i had 10 left but i was so um hungry <laughs> i only had tomato juice so i thought you know what let's just leave it till tomorrow um so that it's nice and bright the energy is better and um so it's taken me it took me like an hour to do the 10 so i'm i'm really happy i'm really happy with the hairstyle i'm happy with the choice of braid i'm just happy that i took the time to execute this hairstyle i know i said that the first attempt and the second attempt looked like twigglets it wasn't as bad as i was saying it was but this is so much better for it to be my third time would i do the hairstyle again yeah <laughs> That's how happy I am with the hairstyle. The practice and patience is just it's just keep on practicing. I feel like um, doing this has just healed something inside me, like it's brought me so much joy. I really want to tell the bully to kiss my ass, you know, like I can't believe that you carved my brains. But you know what? It's up to me to go through that and just keep doing what you love and enjoy. So if you are learning how to braid just go for it doesn't matter what age it doesn't matter what stopped you before just do the things that bring you joy and uh, the thing i like the most about this hairstyle is you can go like this you can put it up you can swing it around you can do hairstyles at the side like layla from star wars you know we have the two buns Soon. oh my gosh I'm just so excited so remember I said I'm gonna keep this hairstyle in for a month so mm, yeah I'm gonna keep it in for a month I still would like to know how long you guys keep your hair in and what holding gel you use because I can still learn some things about the holding gel and um, yeah I'm just really excited to rock this hairstyle uh, thank you for joining me and if you're here please do like and subscribe i will see you guys next time